congratulations. Um, I'm curious, how is it as someone who's been on the tour for a little while and you've seen uh, female players get bigger and bigger? Um, <laughs> And you know, is it is it challenging? Is it intimidating for someone who is, with all due respect, not as big as your opponent today and uh, and some of the newer players, uh, or is it some kind of like secret weapon that you have? Secret weapon? No. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I wish I was taller because I could serve better. But um, I think you know, I accept that. I accept that I have to do with my own body. I mean, I'm short, okay? We try to don't make it a problem, you know? We try to, to do something different, to, in, to improve other aspects, like serve. But, I mean, I wish was, I was taller, but it's okay, I'm not. Me too. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, so we have to do with what I have, you know? Yeah. Hey Jasmine, congratulations. Um, I, you're obviously playing with Sara this, this fortnight in the doubles. I know she's been in your, in your box, in your support team for all your matches. Is she there purely as support? Is she helping you out sort of tactically at all? Like what's the relationship there? I think she's helping me so much. Um, you know, to, to play doubles with her, I can talk Mm, I can talk in tennis with her. I can ask her strategies, but also um, some, you know, advices um, how to to step on court. Um, what can I do today to play better? You know, it's it's some somebody that I think can help me so much. She already. Uh, did a Grand Slam final, so she already have been in this position. So I think it's just someone that can help me in many aspects, you know. I just wondered, uh, tomorrow, will you watch the first semi-final? And also, generally, how much do you like to watch of other matches? I like to watch other matches, but, you know, depends, because sometimes... You want just to switch off and do other things, but if I had the chance, why not? Um, I didn't watch the, um, the Sabalenka and Riva because I was uh, playing doubles, but if I had the chance, I, I really like to, to watch women, but also men. Yesterday I watched Yannick uh, playing. Um, yeah, I like tennis, so it's nice to watch in TV. I don't know because I I'm gonna prepare the match, so it depends. Maybe yes, but few few points. I'm I mean it's just before our match, so have to prepare. You know. Your your progress has been fairly steady, although you've done very well this year with Australia, with Dubai, and now here. Was there a a point where you either did something or something happened to you where you thought, right, I am now getting up to the top? Uh, I think I started to play better uh, with more consistency last year, and, uh, let's say in the middle of July. And, you know, I think match by match, um, I felt more um, convinced that I can play at the higher level, you know, and, but it was a process. It's not like I switched something. It was a process. And yeah, now, as I said many times, I step on court and I say to myself that I can, I have a chance to win the match, you know, and before it was like sometimes, I, for example, when I was playing against the top players, I was like, oh, okay, I need a miracle to, to, to win this match. So I was already, you know, losing the match before playing, even playing. <laughs> Uh, Jasmine, congrats. Yeah, yeah a few things regarding the semifinal. You will face Mira. Uh, you played like a month ago. Uh, which impressions you have and which things you need to improve? And other thing, she decided not to play doubles after her win uh, today in quarters. Uh, did you think uh, over like something like uh, this or you were thinking only about playing? Uh, no, no. Uh, I mean, 
I decide to play doubles here and for me it's as important as singles because if you enter in a competition, in my opinion, you have to finish. Um, but, you know, that that's my decision. I understand the, the others. I don't want to criticize anyone, but in, for myself, it was important to step on court and to try to win also the, the quarterfinals in Davos. And um, Mira, with Mira, it's going to be a tough match. I played against uh, her in Madrid and uh, She's really great player. I think she's so young, but she's so so good mentally, and she can defend very well. She can serve well. So it's going to be a tough match, but we are in the semifinals, so there's no chance to get easy matches. <laughs> hey, Jazz, well yeah. done. Um, I'm wondering. It seems like the best Italian women players get better when they're older. <laughs> you know, they have their best results. Then is that because you decide at a certain point? Like I'm going to, I'm just going to be more aggressive, or is it because your games are a little more complicated and things have to come together more, and it's better to be older than younger? I don't know. I know that for myself was a long process um, because you know I think I had to believe in each step I, I did. I, for example, I was the first time I was top hundred. Um, I think now I think that I could reach th that goal before, but maybe I wasn't ready, I don't know. So I think uh, every step that I did, uh, I did in that moment because I, I believed in that moment that I could do it. The problem, I think, that's a problem, but it's me, I mean, <laughs> that I wasn't believing um, that I could reach the result that I'm reaching now when I was younger. Yeah. For the others, I don't know. You should ask them. <laughs> Hi, Jasmine. Um, over here. Yeah. You, you said a few times that you lack self-belief against the biggest players and in general. Well, I'm curious just why do you feel that is? Like, why didn't you have that belief in yourself earlier in your career? That's a good question. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Really, I don't know. I think just that um, it helped me to win match by match, you know, against those players. At the beginning, it's just fighting with them. And then, uh, uh, yeah, winning some big matches. But honestly, I don't know why I didn't believe in myself. <laughs> Hi. Uh, I would like to know how do you deal with the new statue you have right now? Uh, like in the past months, you have won a lot of matches. Right now, you are in the semi final of a Grand Slam. Uh, there is more journalists, more attention around you. How do you deal with all of that? I think it's a privilege because if I'm here with many journalists, it means that I did something good, you know? And yeah, it's a little bit different, but it's a nice thing. It's not a bad thing. Yeah. <laughs> 